Bluetooth note. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Fine, very fine. Can you see me? Great. Great. Yeah, I can see you. So Ready? okay, I fixed it. I fixed the computer because I, I have a problem with my can. Oh really? Yeah, but yeah. I, I can see you. Yeah, but yesterday yesterday uh, I have a problem and today I was fixing and right now it's ready. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So we can like start working. So tell me, mister, uh, where do you live? Here in Merliot, I told you. Okay, and where do you work? Uh, I'm a salesman. And uh, yes, I, you told me, I you told me that. Yeah. Okay, so how was your day? Sorry, I can't hear you. How was your day? Oh, good, good. It was good because I have a lot of dates with my customers and I make a lot of business. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's the idea because you are yeah. a salesman, so you need to sell. Yeah. Right, that's interesting. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Today we are going to have a very interesting class. Just let me check something here. Just a second, please. Okay. Okay, I am back. Vanessa, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are I you am tonight? Okay, okay how was your day, Vanessa? Um very busy, but very fine. Busy. Okay, cool. Yes. It's good when we have many things to do. Time yes. flies. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. So tell me, Vanessa. How do you feel today in the class? How do you feel? Do you think you are doing, you are improving? How do you feel? Yeah, with the, with the process of learning English. Ah, este, good. I, uh, I, no, I, este. <laughs> the, the last. Okay, okay. So you feel good, you are learning. Learning, yes. I understand the, the conversation. Okay, and, what about the platform? Uh, yesterday, see the class on the Monday, the Sunday. Okay. okay. Well, the imperative and, and the verb be. The imperatives. Oh, the imperatives. Let's see. See, do you remember the imperatives? Imperatives uh, are the ones that we use for commands. Uh, I, you. I'm sorry? Uh, I don't remember the says when they say I and you. O sea, how do you, how do, ¿cómo se le llama eso? Okay, 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 okay. Explain again to me, please. Mm, it, yesterday, uh, see the platform. And okay. I don't remember the names, but um, I, uh, I clear the when uh, uh, I, uh, how do you say it? Cuando quiero decir tú, you're. He, he, he. Him or he. Him. Oh, yeah, oh, or he. The, the, uh, from yesterday, you are talking about the possessive. Uh, yes, the possessive, yes. His, hers. Okay. Her, she, uh, she uh, his. For, no, she is her. Uh, yeah. You, yours, uh, uh, their. There, there, uh -huh. and we 
we our. Our. I don't remember. Our, yes. Perfect, cool. So that means that you pay attention to the class. Okay. That's excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. Hey, Yilda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm just fine. What about you, Yilda? Ah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Ready for class? Excuse me? Ready for the class? Yes, yes. And tell me. And, uh, yesterday uh, I came. I was. How do you say? No me puede conectar. I couldn't. I couldn't. I, I couldn't connect. Yes. Let's see. I couldn't connect. You see? Check it out in the chat. I couldn't connect. I couldn't connect. Okay, tell me why. Uh, because um, in my house, it interrupts the energy. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Uh, yes, it, the problem is that my, my son is near uh, Cárcel de Mujeres. Okay. It, it's this, this uh, Wi-Fi tier and the datos. Okay, the data. A blackout. A blackout. Data. Blackout is when there's no electricity. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But well, today is, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, that's great. Excellent. Thank you, Yolda. Francisco, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm very good, teacher. Okay, how was your day? What did you do today? Um, this day, uh, I had very busy. I was? Uh, I was very busy. Um, but I like busy. I like being busy. Okay, I like being I like busy. Being busy. Estar ocupado. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's yes, always teacher. good when we have something to do. And this day wow. has been rainy. It's been rainy? Yes. Well, here where I live, um, actually there's no rain, just the heat. That's a problem here, that there, it doesn't rain here, just the heat. Okay, in Santana is very fresh in that moment. Oh, in, in this, this moment. In this moment. Oh, yes. cool. Nice. I like it when it gets windy and cold. Yes, I, me too. I, I love that weather. Well, thank you, Francisco. There's Janari. Hello, Janari. Good evening. Yanari. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, I don't feel I don't feel good, teacher, because. Oh really? Yes, este, uh, me pique el ojo izquierdo. Oh, it it itches. Oh, okay. It itches. Okay, really? it itches. Yes, teacher. I'll try to and take I, it out I, and I clean have. it. Sorry? You can try taking it out and clean it. Mm, yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. Well, mm. don't worry, don't worry. Today's class okay. is going to be relaxed. Okay, thank teacher. You, Happy yeah, thank to you, have you here. Thank you. Vicky, good evening, Vicky. Good evening, teacher. How were you this beautiful night? Tell me. Um, nice teacher today. Oh, really? Yes, because I working from my house. Oh, okay, cool. So you are relaxed, no problem. Yes, yes, teacher. That's interesting. And tell me, what do you usually do when you are in your house? Um. Uh, answer, answer, answer my image. Answer. 
enter my email and it organizer organizer organize organize um, meetings okay mm -hmm. in the case of emails in the case of emails what you do is answer back ah, okay answer back okay answer back yeah okay that's interesting so you you keep busy all day long what time do you finish working when you are in your house um 7 p.m oh and at what time do you start working um 6 p.m you start at 6 p.m and finish at 7 p.m just one hour yes okay cool mm -hmm. that's nice yes, very teacher. nice well thank you vicky thank you teacher gladys de los angeles good evening how are you good evening fine i'm fine okay tell me what did you do today i work every oh. day and okay, well, i work your in my home from what? home from home sí. yes what okay. is your schedule Uh, yes, um, writing a report and okay. checking an email, checking okay. and alerts in the system, system, okay. system. The system. Now, system. the question I'm asking you right now is what is your schedule, horario? What is your schedule? Oh, uh, eight. From eight. eight. Thirty. Remember from when eight. you're when you're saying the time, you say from. You say the time, and then two. Like I work from seven a.m. to ten p.m. Okay, from two. From eight thirty. Okay. Yeah, to to five thirty p.m. Okay, that's cool. So you keep busy all day long. Oh, no entendí I'm, cómo era. I'm telling you that you are busy all day long. Está ocupada todo el día. Busy. Busy all day long. Okay, well, thank you, Gladys. Okay. Roxana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Okay. Please tell me, Roxana, what do you do on a regular Wednesday? Wednesday, mm, Wednesday, I work all day, the same on the Monday to Friday. Okay, what's your schedule then? I work from 8 to 5.30 p.m. Okay, excellent. And what do you do? What do you do in the company? I am analyst. Okay. What do you analyze? Information, <laughs> um, sales reports. Sales um, reports. Listen. Sales, sales reports. Sales no reports. Report. Report. Perfect. Sales reports. Um, demand of products okay the demand of products excellent um i i am system administrator too okay so you have many activities yes 
have in different functions in the company. But uh, yes, different activities, but all activities are, I don't know how to say relational. Related to? They are related. Related to? Related to. Related to? I don't know what related to what. What, what, uh, all the, the activity of my department. Okay, perfect, excellent. So you see, it's very simple, easy cheesy. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, guys, listen. Today we are going to still work with uh, some WH questions and, but we are not going to be working just with the verb B. Today we are going to be asking and answering questions, but from other tenses too. And that's the idea, okay? And we are going to be talk, working uh, with some things related to your job, about where do you work, what do you do, okay? So guys, let's start, but let me see. First off, because we have a lot to do, let's see. This is for today and today. Okay, let's see. We are going to watch a small video from the platform. We are already in unit two, okay? And let me share with you right now the small conversation that appears in the platform. Okay. And you ask now. We are going to be working with this conversation here. Okay. So let's watch a little bit of it. Hi, everyone. Hey, Welcome everyone. to yeah. section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, let's see. Let's listen again to the... Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. And I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, guys. Now, uh, remember, this is, we are already in section 2.1, okay? This is the English Corporativo platform. This is the exercise 2.1. Where do you work? Let's see. They... The text says, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Uh, is there any question about the vocabulary, guys? No question? Okay. Do you know what is a part-time job? Teacher, yes? teacher uh, how does the meaning, how interesting, the expression? How interesting. Que interesante. Oh, ah, que interesante. Oh, we Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning? Heaven. Heaven. Yes. Okay. Look, the the clouds in the sky. Cielo. Oh. Okay. Okay. But okay, remember, okay. it's not sky. It's heaven. Okay. There are two words for saying. Uh, the problem is it's that sure. in Spanish, we use cielo for two different things. 
the spiritual one is heaven. The physical one, the one that we can see, is sky. Okay? okay. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, yes Roxana? Can, can you repeat, teacher? I... What? The difference is sky. The difference in sky heaven. and heaven. heaven, the spiritual one. Okay, like God is in heaven. Okay, okay. and the sky, the sky. Is the one, the one that you can see every day. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's continue. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Right now we are going to go back to the conversation. And let's see, who do I have here in my class right now? Okay, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Elizabeth, you are Jason and Francisco is going to be Andrea. Oh, okay. no, the other way around, the other way around. Francisco, you are Jason and Elizabeth is going to be Andrea. Okay? Okay. So, Francisco, Phil, you start. Okay. Okay. Uh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Uh, I am a guy. I take a people on tours on countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? I am fast food restaurant. Uh, which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Thank you. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Just remember, student. 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 And the last word, heaven. Heaven. Uh, yeah. Heaven. Okay. Thank you okay, very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, let's see. Francisco, you are Jason, and Hilda, you are Andrea. Please. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Uh, I am guide. I take people on tours to country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's great. I, it's great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Events. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Franklin and Gladys, please. Okay. I am Jones. Or Jason. Yes, please. You're Jason. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am guiding. I take people and tours and tours to country in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's great, John. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you do go? I am a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, very good, very well done. Remember, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Okay, remember, fast food restaurant. Okay, thank you very much. Well done, guys. Excellent. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Mr. Rodrigo Gonzalez, please. You are Jason and 
Marina Vanessa, you are Andrea. Okay. okay. I'm a Jason, huh? Uh, yes. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, guys, perfect. Excellent, Mr. Gibson. Uh, Mr., uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cruz. So let's see, let's see, let's see who else uh, is gonna be, is gonna be, is gonna be. Kiki and Roxana, please. Vicky, Hello, you are teacher. Okay. and Roxana okay. and Andrea. Okay. okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in, in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamber hamburger Heaven. Okay, ladies, perfect. Remember just South America, South America. Okay. South America. And please remember student. Student. Okay. Student. 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 Now let's see, let's see. Mr. Rodrigo, would you mind helping me again with Janari? Please. Okay. okay. Rodrigo, you are Jason and Janari, you are Andrea. Please, okay. let's start. Okay. okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Excellent pronunciation, Rodrigo. Very Thank well you. done, Jan. Okay, guys. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you see, the vocabulary is very simple, okay? And if you notice, the first question, where do you work? The person answered, Oh, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Or really, what do you do there? Okay. If you see, these two questions are very simple. Where do you work and what do you do? When they ask us, what do you do there? They, we start explaining what are our activities. And if you remember, today we started the class asking that question. I started asking two questions like, what do you do on a regular day? Now. I'm going to divide you in pairs. You are going to ask your partner, where do you work? First question. And the second question, what do you do there? Any question? Am I clear? Teacher, can you repeat the answer, the question? Where do you work? What do you do there? Okay. Let me write them for you. Where do you work? Check it out. Check them out in the chat, please. Okay, guys. I'm going to divide you right now. Okay. 
Please jump in. Es cierto. Vamos. Um, the question are where do you work? Where do you work? You. Okay, where do you work? Where do you work? Okay. I am I am work at Inversiones Simco. Work at Inversiones Simco. And mm -hmm. what do you do there? Uh, what do you do there? I am an assistant and I answer back my image and organize it. Organize it. Organize. Organize meeting. Okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. how do you write? Organize. Organize. Organ yes, with a Z. Okay. Z. Yes, organize. Organize meeting. Okay, now switch okay. roles. Okay. Contact. Okay. Ah, oh, teacher. No. We we need your help. Tell me, tell me. Uh, Franklin work uh, in the, uh, at at remesas uh, Fusca, uh, depósitos Fusca. Remesas y pagos Fusca. Remesas y pagos Fusca, but okay. the what he does it he does it to do there. Analista de depósitos. Uh, ah, no, el cargo es analista de tesorería y contabilidad. En inglés. Analista de tesorería y contabilidad. Oh, the treasure and accountancy. Wow. Treasure and accountancy analyst. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Analyst goes at the end, ok. Treasury in a content Yes. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Supervisor Project. Okay. Yes. Okay. Did you finish? Mm, just picture. Okay. <laughs> in 60 seconds, we go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Rodrigo, you were working with Francisco, no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, tell me, please, where does Francisco work? Francisco works in, depends the project, because uh, it's uh, right now it's uh, in Santana, but oh. sometimes uh, he has to make a little trip to other countries. Okay, so what does he do there? Uh, he's a supervisor in the civil project oh, for construction. Teacher. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. Okay. Francisco, what about Rodrigo? What does, where does Rodrigo work? Okay, teacher. Uh, Rodrigo, he was business customer. Okay. He was a salesman. Oh, yeah. he works as a salesman. Yeah, yes, that's very interesting. Okay, well, thank you very much. That means that you really pay attention. Excellent, well done. Now, Elizabeth, who were you working with? Excuse me. 
Repeat. Who Repeat. Did you work with? Who did you work with? With. I work in accounting. Okay. With. Okay, let's see. So, uh, let's see. What did you tell me you were working? I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Perdón. Me Perdón. Un <laughs> okay. Okay, you were working with? Uh, with Gladys. Okay, mm -hmm. and Gladys work in accounting, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Where's Gladys? Gladys, tell me about Elizabeth, please. Uh, she's an accountant. She's an accountant. Okay. Accountant. Where does she work? Uh, what? Where? She's an accountant. Where does she work? Uh, she's a kid, uh, financial accountant of the okay. company. Perfect. Thank you very much. Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Hello, teacher. Who did you work with, Hilda? Tell me. With a Franklin. Okay, tell me about Franklin, please. It, she works. She works. He. Uh, oh, he. He. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> he works. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Frankie. <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> he works in, in remesas and the post. The y pagos. Remesas. Remesas y pagos. <laughs> remesas y oh. pagos. And what does he do there? What is his uh, function? He, he, is, he is treasury and accounting analyst. Okay, perfect. Analyst, analyst. Analyst. Perfect, excellent. Franklin, tell me please about Ilda. Where does she work? Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh, Futsal. Oh, come on, Fusalmo. <laughs> Fusalmo. Uh, Fusalmo, okay. okay. Fusalmo. Fusalmo. Tell me now, what does she do there? Uh, she is coordinated in human records. Human resource. Human resource. Human resource coordinates. Okay, okay. Look. Resources. Human resources. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Vanessa, tell me, Vanessa, who were you working with? I, it, Roxana. Okay, tell me about Hello. Roxana. Uh, she worked in a newspaper. Oh, really? Cool. Yes. What did she do there? I, I don't know. Only, only say oh. it's the newspaper. <laughs> Okay, please, Vanessa, ask Roxana. Roxana, eh, eh, who is the name the newspaper? What, what do you do in ah, the company? Eh, Roxana, what do you do in the company? I am system administrator and I do the um, sailor report. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. That, that's enough, Roxana. Now, Roxana, please tell me about Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, uh, she works in Proesa. Okay. In, uh, human, in uh, human resource department. Okay. She pays the, their payroll. Or Oh, she cool. pays the payroll. Yes, and, and she. No sé si lleva the assistant contract. Okay. No sé cómo se dice. Ella lleva la asistencia, el control de asistencia. 
the attendance records. Attendance. Attendance. Attendance records. Okay, thank you very much. Vicky, tell me about Janari, please. I want to know what does where does Janari work? She's work in, in Persaka. Okay, what does she do there? She is an accountant. Okay, perfect. Thank you very and much. And she makes balance sheet. Okay, oh, interesting. Now, look, Vicky, you said she's work. And in this case, is she works. Okay, she's work. She works. She works. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Jana, please tell me about Vicky. Okay. Uh, she works at Inversion Inc. And oh. she's assistant and she organized organized meeting. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Very well done. Now let's continue because we need to advance. We need to cover today, again, we are in the English Corporativo platform. We are going to be working in the section 2.3. We are going to talk about the simple present WH questions and statements, okay? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you. Work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you noticed the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay, remember you have an activity here. Under the video you have to type in a WH question. But that's part of your homework, okay? So, if you notice, when we are talking about the third person singular, simple present, affirmative form, gosh, that's long. When we talk about he, she, or it, in affirmative, in present, we add an S or ES to the verb. You remember, work, works. Teach, teaches. Study, studies. Dance, dances. Okay? Just when we talk about he, she, or it in affirmative, okay? Just then. For the rest of the form, the verb normal, okay? For I, you, we, they, the verb goes normal, okay? Now, 
let's check out because I also prepare a small PowerPoint presentation that we are going to work with right now. Let's see. And it's right here and I'm going to share it with you. And let me see, it's uh, okay. Class three. WH question. Remember what I told you yesterday. WH questions are used to ask for specific information. They can't be answered with a yes or no. We need information, okay? What? We use what to ask about things. What do you need? You see, the WH question, the auxiliary, there's an auxiliary here. The subject and the verb in the base form plus the question mark. I need a suit in this case. What does his sister like? She likes the red dress. You see, it's so very simple. Now, what color? What color do you want? Blue. What color does Claire like? Yellow. But can we actually answer just like this? Let's see. Uh, Mr. Let me see. Let me see. I got the question here. Hold on just a second. I need to see everybody. Mr. Rodrigo, tell me what color do you like? I like a blue. I like blue. Perfect. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Hilda, tell me, what color does Rodrigo like? What color does Rodrigo like? He likes uh, blue. In blue, the color blue. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. If you notice, when Hilda answered, she's, when Rodrigo answered, he says, I like blue. When Hilda answered, uh, she's referring, uh, she's talking about Rodrigo, she says, he likes the S in the verb. Very well done, guys. Let's continue. What size? What size do they need? Extra large could be an answer. What size does Peter want? Small, okay? Wish. Remember, we use wish to ask about choice. Do you remember that I told you yesterday this? We use it when there are options, okay? Like, look, which coat do you need? Which coat do you need? Look, the brown one, okay? Which pants does he want? The gray one. When we are using wish, when we answer, as we have options, if the option is singular, we say one. If the option is plural, we say one. Why? We use why to ask about reason, okay? This is used to ask about reason. We answer these questions with because. That's something that I also explained yesterday. That we always answer the questions that start with why we answer them with because. Look at the example. Why do you like this sweater? Because it is new. We are asking for the reason and we answer with because. Why does your friend like those sneakers? Oh, because they are cheap. Any question up to here? Hello, guys. Bluetooth note. No teacher. Perfect. It's clear, teacher. Excellent. Now, the structure. Okay, here you can see the structure in a very simple form. 
to form WH question, we use the WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus the base form. Okay. First, the WH word. What? Then the auxiliary, do or does. What, what is going to tell us when to use do or when to use does? Remember the subject. In this case, as the subject is you, the auxiliary is do. What do you? And then the verb in the base form. What do you like? Look at the next one. Which sweater? This is the question. Which sweater? Which always goes with the option, okay? Which sweater? That's the WH word. Do or does? In this case, it's does because the subject is she. And remember, for he, she, or it, we use does, okay? Which sweater does she need? Now, remember the use of do and does. What do? I, you, we, they. When we have do, we use it with these forms, okay? And then remember, does. Thus, we use it with he, she, and it. Any question before we practice? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's see. Actually, those questions, we did them already. Was the exercise that we did before. Sure. Okay. Yes, tell me. Uh, can you uh, present the question? Oh, the question. Uh, we did that already. Uh, we did that already. It's okay. the exercise we did before. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Rodrigo. Yeah, tell me. Tell me, Rodrigo. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is... Uh... Uh, jobs. Okay. And where do you like to watch movies? In your house or uh, the movie theater? I prefer in my my house. Why? Why do you prefer to watch movies in your house? Because it's more comfortable and I okay. have more space. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Vanessa. Hey. Tell me, Vanessa, what is your favorite food? My favorite food uh, is a typical food, uh, for, uh, typical food, uh, Salvadorian food. Okay, and tell me, where do you like to eat it? In your house or in a restaurant? In, in the two, uh, how do you say? How do you both. say in ambos? Both. In both. 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 Okay. Both. okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Vicky, what is your favorite? Mm, vacational destination in El Salvador? Um, and my favorite destination, Cerro Verde. Okay, why? Why do you like it there? Because natural life. Oh, because you like or you enjoy? Enjoy. Okay, so tell me, because I enjoy? Because I enjoy? To watch? Watch? Then the nature, okay? Okay. Excellent, the question. excellent. thank you very much. Thank you. Hilda. Yes, teacher. Okay, Hilda, you told me that you have traveled the world over. <laughs> Ilda has traveled all around the world. Tell me, Ilda, what's your favorite country? 
Um, my favorite country, United States. Okay, which state? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Please tell me why. Because it's different than other state because Los Angeles, Washington DC, it's the same. Um, Los Angeles, it's the same there, Salvador. Okay, so you and, uh, it's different. Mm -hmm. um, but um, the Minnesota is is better the house, the weather, the weather, um, the natural natural, natural is life. is better. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. if you don't like that much California, you should go to San Francisco. Yes, I guess I go in the 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 el how do you say el puente de el gold state the bridge the golden state del, bridge the golden state bridge uh it is very interesting i like it and the uh i was passed in the in this in this bridge okay perfect well uh -huh. thank you very much Hilda. okay okay francisco tell me you go all over El Salvador working in the supervision of the project. Tell me, which department is the one that you like the most? Oh, I'm sorry, teacher, repeat. In your job, I, I understand that you go all over the country. You go to Santa Ana, you go to Sonsonate, you go to different departments, okay? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, tell me. Which is your favorite department to visit? Okay, my favorite department in El Salvador, Santa Ana. Okay, please tell me why. What's the reason? Be because it's very fresh and the people is very friendly. Oh, really? Oh, come on, you should go to Soyapango. Soyapango people is very friendly too. Um, maybe, but I prefer visit to uh, Santana. Okay, perfect, perfect. No problem. I am actually I am from Soyapango. That's why. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Gladys. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Gladys, where do you like to go for vacation? Hi. Uh, what? Where do you like to go for vacation? Tell me. In the kitchen. Sorry. For, for vacation. Vacaciones. Where do you like to go? Um, um, I like... Is in the beach? Uh, I'm sorry. I like to go to the beach. I like to go the. Uh, I like to go to, in the beach. To the um, beach. To beach. To the beach. And now look at me. Look at me. To, to, to the, the beach. To, to the, the beach. beach. <laughs> okay. To okay, the Gladys. beach. Okay. Listen to me, Gladys. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to use Spanish just for a second. Me está golpeando mucho el sonido de la I. ¿Ok? Y cuando golpeamos mucho el sonido de la I, usted está diciendo otra cosa. ¿Ok? To okay. the beach. To the beach. No to the beach. No, not strong. Short. ¿Ok? To the beach. Say it, please. To the beach. Perfect. Thank you. Ok. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see who's missing, who's missing. Uh, Janari. Yes, teacher. Tell me, Janari, do you like cooking? Yes, I like cooking. Okay, Janari. Imagine that you are inviting all the group, all the people that is here, Rodrigo, Roxana, Hilda. Everybody is invited to your house for dinner. Okay. Tell okay. me. What are you going to prepare for us? Um, 
uh, eat for dinner. Yes, for dinner. For dinner. Uh, eggs. Okay. Yes. Um, like omelette. Okay. Omelette. omelette. Of, of, yes, yes, an omelette. Um, um, I, I like coffee and I don't know if all people like coffee, but I, I, I coffee for drinking. Coffee. coffee. Okay, soft, soft drinks. It's raining here, teacher. I can hear. Okay, no problem. No problem, Janari. Don't worry. Okay, don't okay. worry. Okay. Um, uh, or I would prefer sandwich. Okay, easy. Thank you very much. Sandwich with... Okay, teacher. Thank you, thank you. It was enough. Don't worry, don't worry. We are not that demanding. <laughs> no somos tan exigente. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Let's see, is there anybody missing? Me falta alguien? Roxana, yes. Hello, Roxana. Roxana is Hello, here. teacher. Here. Hello, Roxana. <laughs> hello, hello. Tell me, Roxana, where do you live? I live in Huizúcar, La Libertad. You live in Huizúcar. Okay, tell me, what's the weather like in Huizúcar? Mm, the weather is hot. It's hot? It's, yes, it's hot. Okay. Mm. And tell only, me, only invierno, uh, in winter. In winter, some fresh, some, but a little. You mean a little uh, fresh? A little or fresh. A little in bit. Winter. A little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, in sometimes in the. Winter is a little bit fresh. Perfect, excellent. Thank you very much, Roxana. So, if you notice, guys, let's make a small review. We are working today, we were working today with WH questions. We were using the WH question with simple present. If you remember yesterday, we were working with WH questions, but with the verb be, and yes, no questions with the verb be. Today we are working with WH questions with simple present, the rest of the verbs. Remember, please, the simple present is used to express habit, routine, and fact. Hechos, rutinas, y hábitos. Okay? Any question? We cool? Okay, guys. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good Thank, you, Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.